Hi friends, happy Friday and welcome to Cindy's Corner. It's the end of my work week and I'm gonna wind down with a snack and a beverage. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. It is now mid-August and you know what? It's not as hot as it was last month. I'm so glad. So we're very fortunate. Earlier in the week, we had some crazy humidity here in New York City. We were just like beating up sweat when you ever you went outside. And today it's dropped. So not only did the temps drop down to like around 80, but the humidity dropped down to about 50%. So it's actually feeling pretty pleasant when you're outside. So that's a really big plus for the month of August. So let's hope it stays that way until September. Anyways, tonight I thought I'd do something summery, fresh, maybe a little tropical. So tonight we're going to do something I have never tried before that I can't wait to dig into and that is watermelon sticks or fries like some people call them. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how I make this and we're going to have a really fun dip. We're going to have a coconut yogurt lime dip to dip those sticks into. So this is going to be really fun. First, I'm going to show you how to make this dip sticks. So you cut your watermelon into slices, okay, and then you're going to remove the rind. So we're just going to cut down here, get rid of the rind. There we go. That goes into the compost pile. Now I've got um, a wedge here. So what I'm going to choose to do is cut, just cut vertical cuts here. So I'm making them about maybe a half an inch, half an inch wide. And I'm just going to cut across till, till they get a little bit uh, like they're not really sticks anymore. Okay, so like this corner, this corner, that's for the chef. <laughs> okay, so now I've got them cut and you see that the pieces are a little bit wide, so I'm going to cut them in half. You want them to look kind of the same size as like french fries, so that's, that's what I'm doing. So I cut them in half and now you see how they kind of look the size of a french fry. And then I'm just, I'm layering them kind of, you know, almost, I guess you'd call like a Lincoln log or a, like a Jenga pile <laughs> on, on my platter. And then we're going to put a special chili lime seasoning on top of them. That's going to make them have a little, little spice and a little bit of a kick. So let me just finish cutting these last three. Okay, right here. Okay, and so I'm, I'll show you here in a second what I'm doing with these. We're just kind of, I'm just kind of stacking them up. So I have a huge, a huge pile on my plate. These, this is like going to be definitely like a, a diet friendly, healthy kind of snack. Okay, actually I need a little paper towel here to wipe my plate because this is, this is all wet from the water. I'm going to keep that, wipe that, because I want to bring my plate over here so you can see how I'm doing this. Okay, so now I've got my platter here, so I've kind of stacked them up. Okay, now what we're going to do is take this spice called tagine. So what this is, it's a Mexican spice. It's got chili peppers, sea salt, and lime juice in here. So we're going to sprinkle, I'm going to take my finger and just do like pinches of this, sprinkle this over the top of the slices. And I'm going to make like a little bit of bowl on the side here, just a tiny little bowl, so that as I get down into this, not all of these are going to get covered because I stacked them all up, you know, but I'm going to keep adding to them. Now I tasted the spice last night. I got this off of Amazon. And this is not super spicy. It, it does have a really interesting flavor because it's got the chili and it's got that lime in there. And um, it's also got citric acid in there to preserve, help preserve it. But I think that that actually adds a little bit of sweetness to it. 
Okay, so this this looks this looks pretty good. Okay, so let me show you how that's looking now. Okay. So there, I'm not sure if this shows up on camera, but you can see. So it looks like it's got little specks of seasoning all over it. Okay. Now I'm gonna just gonna put that to the side while we make this dip. Okay. So what I have here is a coconut uh, Greek yogurt. Okay. So I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna put it into my bowl. Just give it a little bit of a stir. On Fridays, I like to kick back and have a nice snack and beverage and listen to some jazz music, different kinds. Tonight, I'm listening to some Latin jazz music, and that is a really nice way to wind down and relax. to this we're going to add the juice it says the juice of one lime now the original recipe I was following had um, eight ounces of yogurt and this is only about five and a half ounces so I'm going to start with a half of juice of half a lime okay um, the recipe also called for coconut sugar which I could not find at my store so I opted to do light brown sugar. Okay, so this is one tablespoon of light brown sugar. I thought a colored sugar would be a good, good touch. Okay, and then it was a zest of one lime. I actually want to save some of that to put on top. So we're going to put that in there, the rest of it there. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Okay, now we're just gonna stir this together. Yeah, that's looking very nice. And then I have some of that reserved lime zest to put on top. Yeah, because, okay, let's take a taste. Mmm, good, oh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, now I did want to mention uh, when you're zesting your lime, you want to make sure that you only zest the green part. Don't get into the white part because that, that white part, that's the pith and that's bitter. Okay, so let's see if I can sprinkle the rest of this lime zest on top. Get some of that lovely color. Yeah. Okay. All right. And that, so that's what we have. And that is going to go right in the middle of my plate. Okay. So there we go. So we have watermelon sticks with a chili lime seasoning on top, along with a coconut lime yogurt dip. Gosh, this is going to be really good. Okay, I'm going to put this over on the table, and then we're going to clean up a little bit and start with our beverage tonight. Okay. I'm going to save that watermelon for later. Oh, you know, I used um, this microplane to do zest, okay? Now, be careful with these because these are super, super sharp. You know, they come with a guard, you know, that... Um, this slip slides into. Make sure that you keep, don't throw this away. Keep this so that you can put this inside once you wash it and dry it. So that way you don't accidentally cut yourself, okay? Alrighty, now let's uh, move this stuff over here. Okay, clear that, get that out of the way. Okay, now tonight we are going to make uh, maybe you've heard of this cocktail called the Moscow Mule. Okay, it's a vodka drink, uh, but tonight we're going to make a variation on that, and we're going to use some blue curacao. Okay, so this is called a blue 
mule. Okay, so it is blue carousel. We're gonna use some roses, sweet and lime juice. We're gonna use some vodka. And what helps make it into a Moscow mule is some ginger beer, yes. Okay, so did you know that a lot of wine keys have this can opener, bottle opener on the end? So we're gonna open our bottle. Okay, now let's get our glass. I don't have one of those cute copper glasses, so I'm gonna use a big old wine glass for this. Okay, so we're gonna need some shot glasses to measure. So we're gonna start with one ounce of vodka. So that's half of this. Okay, into there I'm gonna put a half an ounce of this blue curacao. Now, if um, you see the orange here, that's what this is. This is a orange liqueur. And don't ask me how they get it to be blue. I do not know, but it's really fun. Okay, so we got one ounce of vodka and a half an ounce <clears throat> of the blue curacao. Okay, we're gonna get that into a nice filled glass. Then we're gonna have one ounce of roses, sweet, and lime juice, my secret weapon. Anytime I can sneak this into a cocktail, I pretty much do because I just really like it. <laughs> it just makes everything that I like taste a lot better. Okay, now, okay, so that's what we have so far. I'm gonna get that little swirl. And now we're gonna take our ginger beer and we're just gonna top it off much as it will take and then we're going to top this off with a lime wedge let's see if we can get that on there there we go okay so there is our blue mule have a great weekend cheers i look forward to seeing you guys next time hit the like button subscribe share with your friends we're having a lot of fun over here Take care and I will see you soon. So long. Well.